man, if I read the list of awards and accolades for Pippen, we'd be sitting here till lunch. But uh, for starters, it's earned four Tony Awards. Oh, after seeing Pippen last night, the two of us, it's clear why. The acrobatics, the tricks, the stunts, it exceeded expectations. Yeah, Sabrina Harper is here. She plays Fastrada, mm -hmm. and Callan Bergman plays Lewis. Good yeah. morning to both of you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, great show last yes. night. What did you think of the audience? I thought it was a, the audience was great. It was they fun were show. Awesome. I thought they were amazing, too. Yeah. Such a great energy, and we were getting so much back from them, too. It was really exciting. Um, but I've never seen a show like Pippin, and I had heard a lot about it, so I, I thought going in, I'll be impressed. But it was like the physicality of it, the drama. So compare this um, as a revival from what our viewers might have been familiar with a few decades back. Yeah. Well, um, the 74 version, of course. What we've added to this aspect is um, a big element of the circus, the traveling performers. It's quite extraordinary. Um, yeah. yeah. I would say it's like a Broadway show meets Cirque du Soleil, and then they have... You know, their Broadway so baby. Silly baby. <laughs> yes, there there are some performers up there doing some incredible acrobatics. Okay. What roles did your characters play in that? Did you have to learn how to do some amazing things, or how did that work? Well, I had to learn how to do some magic tricks, mm -hmm. um, special fast act magic, and I also understudy two roles. So I've been learning trapeze, static trapeze, mm -hmm. oh, wow. the quick so. change. Yes, okay, for, that's right. Your part. <laughs> We're sitting in the audience like you don't believe your eyes yeah. truthfully because it's just in a flash you're yeah. in a completely different costume. The art of illusion. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm up on stage with her when the quick changes happen and they blow my mind. Uh huh. What about <laughs> you? Did, were you already a gymnast in I addition was. to being I, a singer? I grew up doing gymnastics mm -hmm. and so um, for the tour version, they've kind of incorporated some of that in for my character. Mm -hmm. And there was that part where the king just disappeared too, his yeah. body disappeared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure that out. I wasn't paying too close <laughs> oh, well, attention. When there. I saw that the first time at a rehearsal in the rehearsal space, I also went, wait a minute. Where'd he go? <laughs> mm -hmm. Where'd he go? <laughs> uh -huh. If you're wondering how their two characters relate, if you're, you're not familiar with the story, um, you're his stepmom. No, I'm or his, his mom. mom. Yeah, mom. Yeah. Pippin's <laughs> stepmom. Um, some of these other performers who are in the show, there's one in particular who gets some extra applause, and rightfully so. Yes. How is it working with John, uh, someone who is a king? In Broadway. We're well, talking about John Rubenstein. Yeah. Right? Yes, of yes. course. Yeah. Um, he's amazing. He's my partner in crime, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love him. Um, and he just has so much history to share also with the story. And when we were creating it, his ideas and elements that he brought in, I mean, he's just a fun guy. He's a fun loving. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's so yeah. fun and silly. And it's awesome working with him because he has all this experience and he's so smart and I feel like it's just a master class working with him every day. Yeah, if people yeah. didn't see the Omaha World Herald article, there he was in that quick shot, but he was in the original Pippin back in the 70s, yes. mm -hmm. yeah. right? When they, the, the first very first original it. one. And he's yeah. been, he's had a great career in television and, and mm -hmm. theater and, and oh, he's there back you go. in his role. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. I swear, those legs and those tights and everybody's like, whoa, mama. Uh, <laughs> let's you. talk about the, the score a little bit and some of this, this wonderful music. What will the audience here as Pippin continues through the weekend. Uh, the, the music is wonderful. I always, I always say this because people don't know this, but it's music by Stephen Schwartz who wrote the music to Wicked. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're a fan of Wicked, it'll be in a similar style to that. Mm -hmm. Gosh, how does this still live? I mean, it was created in the 70s, a little bit different style back in the 70s, but people today, even kids today, are relating to Pippin. What, what is allowed this to transcend generations? Here. Well, we all are continued to be questioned with what is our purpose in life? What do we, what do we want to have? What, where, where do we want to go in life? And I think that's kind of just a, an inner story and that's kind of the story of this young man. You know, his, our, his inner ego or people saying, what do you want to become? Try this, try this, try this. No, that doesn't work, let's go here. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why this production has just, it can continue from years to come. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've just had amazing um, Diane Paulus, who directed it, um, phenomenal director, and Gypsy Snyder, who created the artistic elements, and, and Chet Walker, who did the brought in the Fosse. It's just really yeah. a, a great yeah. team of, of amazing artists. Yeah. yeah, it is. And the singing is fantastic. I appreciated that it wasn't compromised by all of the tricks. Because you'd think, right, if you've ever seen any concerts with these A-list <laughs> stars and they're, if they're singing they're out of breath oh, out and of if they're breath. dancing oh, too much no. their lips this was amazing every aspect of it what did the two of you get in the business initially um well i started as a little girl mm -hmm. um i was about three years old when i first did my first dance class and with five i was the first time on stage mm -hmm. and growing up in southern california i was 
doing as a young child um, TV and acting, which was something uh, in one of our earlier Berthas was Lucy Arnaz. Mm -hmm. And I actually did a TV pilot with her when I was a little girl. Oh, cool. And so it was really coming back full circle. Yeah. So I've, I've been it for a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I grew up as a gymnast and then I started singing. And so those, they kind of led me to musical mm -hmm. theater. And then when I started doing theater in high school, I just fell in love with it. Well, mm -hmm. did you compete uh, like in college or uh, oh, as a gymnast? What did you No, I didn't. I did gymnastics uh, just as a kid, yeah. mm -hmm. as a youngster. Right, and <laughs> kept it going. Uh, th the show runs at the Orpheum through Sunday. If you'd like to get tickets to see it, it's TicketOmaha.com. Now, a lot of times when you hear about shows, you'll hear great things, you'll go, it'll be great. And then there's the rare occasion where even when your expectations are sky high, they're exceeded. And that was my experience last night. Can't recommend it enough. Please go while we have the chance to. And the Thank ending, you. the ending was a little a different than I thought. Yeah. yeah. And I'll leave it at that, but I thought it was great. Yeah. Thank you both. Thank you for having us. And give our best to the chickens. We will. Okay. <laughs>